our guests of honor tonight, the decade plus run of one of the funniest and most decorated shows of the century came to an end tonight. The family we love is assembled for one final farewell. Please welcome from Modern Family, Ed O'Neill, Sophia Vergara, Julie Bowen, Ty Burrell, Jesse Tyler Ferguson, and Eric Stone Street. Hello, everybody, and thank you for hello, doing this. Hello, hello. Hi, Hi. I know this is the Modern Family show, but it looks more like the Brady Bunch right now. <laughs> I think that makes me Alice. <laughs> I will start with Ed, the patriarch of the, your television family. Ed, will you ever speak to any of these people again? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Promise? But, but, but we have a group text that we use. I struggle do, through it, but... Do you participate in the text, in the text chain, Ed? I do, uh, sort of. I mean, I don't recognize some of the numbers. You know, they don't come up as names, so I have to always guess who it is speaking. I try well, desperately to, you know, use a person, you know, get a personality cue sometimes helps me. It's interesting that you say that because last night we had the kids from your show who are now adults, of course, and they went through their phones and found texts from Julie. Julie, there used to be a swear jar on the set and and it seems that has been abandoned because you are now texting profanities to your TV children. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're gonna bleat it. And they, they swear, they've taught me words now. Except for Rico, Rico's a good boy, but the rest of them, filthy potty mouths. How are your families holding up, your real families? We wanna check in and see how everything is considering what's going on right now. Um. Well, my, my family has um, home school, which anybody who's got kids, I'm, I know, I'm sure that uh, ties in the same boat, which means um, some sort of like sanctioned screen time and you're not sure if anything's actually happening. But my kids love it because they said it's like an endless snow day. And one of them said, and I won't say which one so I don't want to embarrass him, I love it, mom, I can poop freely. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening at but he's allowed to poop there. Here. All here. any of us could ever want. Sophia, you were supposed to be shooting America's Got Talent right now. And I have to say, when this all happened, the first thing, the first person I thought of was Howie Mandel, because he this has got to be very, very hard on him. Well, yeah, but in a way, it's his dream come true because now everybody's doing what he wanted always all of them to do, which is washing their hands, not touching him, not getting close to him. So he was having a great time, actually. <laughs> and uh, we are shooting now on, you know, with these things now, because we're still sh shooting the show, oh. uh, but with no audience, so it's kind of weird. Jesse, you were supposed to be on Broadway right now, and Eric was supposed to be in the audience watching you on Broadway <laughs> right now. Dosing <laughs> 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 off. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> the very first Broadway show I took Eric to, though, he did fall asleep. And that being said, maybe we, had, we had taken the red eye in that night, so he was very tired. We were both very tired. But I was supposed to be in previews starting April 2nd, so I'm sort of waiting and seeing what's happening. I'm still doing table reads with the cast and just trying to, you know, run the play every few weeks to, to sort of stay in it. But it's, uh, it's, it's, it's very strange, like Sophia said, to, to do this you know, be connecting to one another over, over the internet. Ty, what do you remember about meeting each other the first time you met a fellow member of the cast 11 plus years ago? Did you audition um, together? What happened? Yeah, well, actually, in, uh, the, uh, in the audition process, I think the first person I met was Jesse, actually. I, I went on to audition many times. <laughs> but Jesse uh, was cast, right? Jesse now. got cast that day, and I, I can tell you why he got cast that day is because I was standing in the corner going over my lines, facing the corner, like I was like want, want to do because I was so uh, tightly wound, like wiping the sweat off of my upper lip. And I <laughs> noticed that Jesse's sitting over, I, I, I may have this wrong, Jesse, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you were reading the paper. I was. He was reading the newspaper. He was so unconcerned with the <laughs> screen test. And, and then he put down the paper and came over and tapped me on the shoulder. And I was like, you know, you know, rocking back and forth and doing my lines. And, and Jesse was like, um, 
hey, I think we have a mutual friend in, in Josh Gad. And, I, you know, I, was, I basically jumped. Uh, and uh, Jesse went in and got the part. And then I, it took me about another month. <laughs> Were any of you skeptical early on that the show would succeed? You know, I didn't know I didn't know what the show was going to do, and I point to one phone call I got very early on after someone had seen the show. Um, I was driving down Ventura Boulevard here on my way to eat a nice Cuban lunch, and my phone rang, and I picked it up, and uh, they said, Eric? And I said, yeah, Ed O'Neill. And I said, oh, my gosh, hey, Ed, how are you? And he's like, great, listen, the show's fantastic. You're fantastic. We're all great. Eric, if this show doesn't last 10 years, I don't know what the hell I'm doing in this business. Is that and true? I just, I, that's an absolute true story verbatim, word for word. And I hung up, I had friends in the car, and I hung up and I said, listen, I have trained myself not to get too excited about anything in this business. But in this moment, I'm going to let TV's Ed O'Neill help me break my own rule. And I'm going to get excited about this show. Yeah, well, Ed would know about a long-running show. That's how he does them. I mean, that's just how it goes. Julie, had you just had your twins when the show got picked up? I was giving, I was in labor when, uh, when one of our, our the co-creators, Steve Levitan, called to say that, that they had given us a pickup and they were going to show the whole pilot at Upfront, which was a big deal. And I was between contractions, and you've been through this a few times, Jimmy, so you know. Someone mm -hmm. was born between contractions, so I took the call. And we chatted, and he said, I guess you won't be going to Upfront. And I went, oh, And I had to get off the phone and give birth. So my kids were there in the beginning, because they were in my belly on the pilot. And I made them come for the very end. Um, they, 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 they thought it was upsetting, because all I did was cry. Sophia, tonight, Ed Ablot a little Espanol for you. How did he do? Give us your assessment of his Spanish. <laughs> You know, I really enjoyed it. It was funny to see how, you know, Ed is so amazing when he's doing his his scenes and his uh, his lines. And then when he started speaking Spanish, he would just see his eyes like empty, emptiness. It wasn't. He was just trying to remember the words. The same thing happens to me. Every second on set. Ow. So I really enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> but I helped him a little bit. And of course, he did a great as everything he does on the set. Well, we are reminiscing on finale night uh, with the cast of Modern Family. We'll have more with the gang when we come back. Welcome back to Jimmy Kimmel Live. I am with the cast of Modern Family. They are in their homes. I assume you're in your homes. I assume this is not a situation where you've barged into someone's home. And I am in my house, and we're all in, in, we're all in each other's houses. It's a shame. Yeah. I was hoping that we could all be together for this, obviously, but obviously circumstances has made that not possible. Ed, you are in Hawaii right now. Yeah, Jimmy, I have a uh, we have a house over here on the Big Island. I see. So what I wanted to do is run through a few questions that maybe will jog some memories, and I want to start with this. Have any of you ever had to keep a secret from a member of the cast or a keep a secret for a fellow member of the cast? Uh, I think that we've had, a, all of us have been guilty of overindulging at one point or another, but there's been a few times when somebody came in on a Monday smelling very much like the party the night before. And we have rallied to protect that person. And finally, at I long see. last, Jesse, I didn't say, I wasn't going to say Jesse, you said it, but <laughs> at long last, sweet, sweet Nolan turned 21, and he was such, he was so responsible, he really did wait until he was 21 at least to come and look at it, and boy, it was, uh, we all covered for him, I gave him some vitamin B, we gave him a little aspirin, propped him up, you know, gave him a pep talk, told him it was going to be okay, Ty was very... I'm enjoying watching Eric right now try to figure out how to turn his FaceTime off while we are. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, somebody's calling me, and then the screen crashes. Anyway, sorry, Julie. We can Julie. still see you. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's fine. Right. Is there something that, and again, this question is for anyone in the group who wants to answer, that you've learned from someone in your, your television family? 
Uh, I think uh, we can all speak to this one. We all learned how all of the the uh, tricks to television acting from Ed O'Neill. Um, we we started writing a fictional book. We started writing basically a book on acting based on Ed O'Neill's instructions over the years. <laughs> And it was just tricks, essentially, about how to work less, like do less. <laughs> the, Ed, Ed would say, we would get to a scene, and, and he would say, like, is there any reason this scene can't be in a car? And, and the, like, why? Well, be, you know, and the reality was, if it's just two people talking for Ed, it would mean there's no blocking. <laughs> would have to move. And there's no could, microphone. No microphone, and he wouldn't have to wear pants. Uh, Ed, are you I like wearing that. pants like, right now? <laughs> Ed, are like you wearing a great pants? great veteran athlete. I'm you wearing shorts. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever declined to do something you were asked to do as part of the show, your character? Have you ever said, no, I'm not going to do that? I, I, I do know that, that Julie and Ty um, asked to do their own stunt. We had stunt people on, and they were like, no, we want to do that. They, they declined a job from someone else. They're like, no, we, we would like to roll down that hill. We put people out of work. We put them out of work, and then we took their paychecks. <laughs> yeah, well, they wanted to do, like, cartwheels down a hill like stunt people would, and, and, and we knew we could do it funnier because it's much funnier to watch people fall in a clumsy way, not in, like, a cool, stunty way. Sophia, do you do your own stunts? Me? Yes. Oh my God, I don't even know how to run. But <laughs> yes, I try. When, when, when we were shooting the show, I would try to do everything if I could. Um, I, you know, I always want to help, but sometimes, of course, they needed to bring somebody in professional. They brought I in see. someone professional when it was just me on a pair of roller skates, like going down the sidewalk. Like they didn't even trust me to like roller skate down the sidewalk. They had a stunt person to do that for me. Have any of you ever physically injured one another? <laughs> Julie, didn't you hit Ty one time? Yeah. I, I, I'm like Bam Bam on the Flintstones. <laughs> I don't know my own strength, and I have a tendency yeah. to not be able to pull a punch. Ty has suffered some bruises, to be sure. There was a, a specific episode, um, the one that Edward Norton was on, where each, each take, when she, out of excitement... She was, it's like kind of loving anger. She would punch me, but it felt like real anger. And <laughs> she would punch me with all of her strength. And Julie Bowen is strong. <laughs> and, uh, and he didn't say I, a word until the end, and he's black and blue. You also, Julie, shattered like three wine glasses in a scene because you kept putting the scene. glass down so forcefully, I, and it I, kept shattering. Like, just put it down gently, Julie. <laughs> I see Ed is getting some tech Long support. Shelly is like that too. Remember Ed when she scratched me all over my neck? Your, your, IT, your IT person is adorable, Ed. <laughs> well, let me just say this. I really, I love the show. My wife and I, were we watched the finale and we really felt genuinely sad that it's going off the air. It really is one of the greatest shows uh, of all time. I remember very well being at that big advertiser event in New York when ABC decided to show the audience the whole episode. Normally, they just show little clips of to give people a taste, but they felt like the show was so good, they wanted to show every bit of it. And we were all knocked out then, and it does not surprise me one bit that here we are 11 years later. So congratulations and thank you all for entertaining us every single week, and we will miss you. And also, I do want to mention that we are making a donation in honor of the cast of Modern Family to Feeding America. Go to feedingamerica.org to help with that. Thank you so much for all Thank the you, laughs. Jimmy. We Thank love you. you more than we love our own families. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. Thank, Thank you, Thank you Julia, you. Sophia, Hang in there. Be well. Eric, Jesse, Ty, and Ed O'Neill. Thanks, guys.